Hi everybody, it's a guy here, the unknown, and today I want us to look at something very important. As we've re as we've recently uh, discussed uh, this explosive in dice uh, trading strategy, guys, this is one of my favorite strategies right now because it pays you almost every day. Okay, yes, there are days when you won't get the setups, but most of the days you are gonna get the setup, and I'm really happy because there are many people who are starting to get the results and uh actually i get happy when i really uh, find comments of people who are saying i got this one i got this one i got this one guys that is the main goal the main goal is for everybody to see this in real time and to execute it without fear and actually uh benefit from it okay and i'm really happy because people are beginning to see this so if you haven't watched the recent video i made on saturday regarding our uh, uh, explosive uh trading strategy for uh, indices but uh, the title is actually nasdaq go and watch it okay because this strategy works and i've actually decided to uh, to put the strategy on the playbook so right now i'm busy working on the playbook i'm adding the strategy because this one is highly 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 profitable and it happens almost every day so guys everybody who has the playbook i'm gonna send you uh the updated version it's gonna have this setup as well okay i'm gonna go uh and add the setup because it is really 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 producing the results for me and i've been trading it for 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 four weeks now and guys honestly it pays you almost every day in the shortest of time five minutes ten minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes you are paid your 50 pips okay and you can use any lot size provided you're following proper risk management okay this is one of my favorite because it pays almost every day so guys let's look at this okay yesterday i took a trade on nasdaq and i just want to go through it with you right here quite quick okay uh this is the uh this is the trade i actually took yesterday okay sorry for the alert this is actually uh a trade i took yesterday okay and it was actually a very good one if you look at it because I took my, 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 my entry here, it was a sell and my 50 pips here. So I just took it and closed my chart. As I tell you that most of the time I'm going to take it and close my charts for roughly an hour and then come back after an hour. But one thing I know about this, uh, this, this kind of setup is that you're going to get paid in 15 minutes. You're going to get paid in seven minutes. You're going to get paid in, uh, in, in, in 10 minutes or even less most of the days. Okay. Because this is an explosive move. And once it happens, it's mostly never going to show you drawdowns. Okay. Yes. There are a couple of days when you'll take a loss, but most of the time it's going to be straight to take profits. And I'm glad because most people are actually starting to put this into practice and people are actually starting to benefit from it. So this is a trade I took yesterday. As you can see, this is my 50 pips and yes, it went 100 and 150, I think 120. I don't know. I don't remember why, but I got paid and I got off the screen. Besides, I was not on the screen and I don't even care how many pips it goes down because this is something that I'm going to take almost every day. Okay. Almost every day in a week, I might take it four times or three times and it usually pays all the time. Okay. So guys, uh, let's just go, uh, through this trade and what was going through my mind as you can see on the strategy we have already discussed that we don't do the day counts we don't do anything we just uh come through the day itself and this is an eye session uh indicator and it starts from the equity opening time so this is 9 30 i've removed the first hour okay because i focus more on the process it's the process that matters for me therefore i'm not going to trade the first hour and here i've extended the hours they are now four hours why because i know that mostly they move indices late so i want to spend more time uh, on indices provided i have not been given the opportunity early but if i am given the opportunity early i'm going to take it and close my charts okay and i know that most of the time when i come back later i will get paid okay so this is quality with quality you can use any lot size okay hence why i always focus on 50 pips it doesn't matter how many pips it goes beyond that's not uh, significant for me okay so uh yesterday i did look at uh as you can see this is uh s p 500 i looked at it but uh as you can see the first thing we need is to know where are where are uh 
uh, traders trapped and mostly it's gonna be above or below the closing price above or below the high or above or below the low okay most of the days it's gonna be that okay so as you can see throughout the day they gave us an idea that okay they are trapping traders above okay so when the session uh before the session opened they went up and sent people up okay so uh you know we come to a smaller time frame okay so when i came to this one as you can see this one gave okay it's something like a double bottom it's like a w okay and then it went up 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 okay okay and as it went up what i usually do is i love the one minute time frame even though i will be observing this kind of things on uh the 15 minute time frame the 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 one minute time frame and the five minute time frame i'll show you something okay and why it is important to do that okay so i saw this i saw this this was happening uh okay as you can see but this one was a little bit choppy and given what was happening down here uh things were not too clear for me on this one okay but f maybe some people took it and benefited from it well uh, uh congratulations on that but this one only gave uh, evidence here okay as you can see they went down and they did come back to retest but for those who put their stops above here actually they did get their 50 pips but this one for me wasn't the best setup because i told you i'm gonna compare nasdaq i'm gonna compare s p and i'm gonna compare us 500 okay and uh when i compared them yesterday i ended up taking this one because this one was a little bit cleaner when we go to a 15 minute time frame i will show you uh i told you we don't do day counts right so they gave us an idea early that okay they are just sending a volume above this closing price so that was an idea however we must see when the equity opens what they have done why because uh we start getting interested when the equity opens and we want to know who is trapped okay so as you can see they send people up okay this was great okay they send people up okay and then they came down okay to punish everybody who went up okay it's fine and then when the equity uh before the equity opened actually they went high and took uh everybody from here out provided they have first punished these guys and now they went down they came and took these guys out but this is not important for us okay one thing that is important for us is just to know who is trapped and where they have trapped volume so we saw that okay it seems like they have trapped they are trapping volume uh, above the closing price just as they did a day before they trade volume below the uh, below the closing price of the previous day and as you can see this is a common practice they do this almost every time okay they trap above or below the the, the the closing price of the previous day okay so for me what i want to do is i want to come during the equity opening time and that's when i start looking at things but still again i'm gonna be looking at the uh, these things on different time frames okay so if you look here on a five minute time frame yes it was good but it was uh something like a pin and this uh something like a pullback okay and this pin is like uh a giveaway because the reason they gave a pin here uh is because they wanted people to buy into trap volume okay i told you i don't execute pins and pins are mostly traps okay i don't look at pins pins mean nothing to me i've been singing this song for the longest time okay and as you can see right before the session started they sent people way up 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 into a into trap volume okay into trap volume but do we know if this is trap volume no we don't know up until the equity opens and we see what the equity is doing okay we have an idea that okay it seems like they are they're sending people up and up and up okay but we don't know up until the equity open that's why i uh, i said uh sit on your hands until you get the easiest trade the easiest trade you have to know what's happening that's the first thing okay and i told you wait for trap volume as you can see on a five minute time frame yes they kept sending people up way into trap volume okay and then that's when they gave that evidence candle however the evidence candle on a five minute time frame was way too big okay but obviously you know that you don't have to take the whole candle because these are explosive trades okay so if the candle is too big you don't have to put your stops here you can just try to put your stop above the level okay because these are actually explosive trade but okay this is what i love about it and this is where i actually took it okay this is where i took it i saw okay yes they sent people up into trap volume but that's not important for us why because the only important thing here is about uh finding out where volume is trapped when the session opens okay so obviously they've sent everybody up they pin them okay on a one minute time frame then they break down now we are in a market that has actually broken down you see the market goes down away from trap volume trap volume is above the closing price okay 
so one thing for me that actually uh, uh, triggers me my trigger is trap volume okay first of all i want to see them breaking into the direction because i don't want to be guessing i don't want to be taking this okay because they might just go back and we might know we might never know if the high is locked or what as i always say the goal is not to catch the high or the low okay i've done that it doesn't work one thing that uh, works is actually waiting for them to break down once they've broken down they will give you a sign and uh, the most easiest entry as you can see here as you can see here the market is broken down away from trap volume what do they do they squeeze people up you see they are sending people up where into trap volume already okay we didn't know if the high was locked, but when we see this, this actually excites me because now I know they are just trapping, they are just trapping, trapping, trapping people. Okay, there is a blow off now. They are just giving a creeping trend. This is a very creep. This is a creeping trend back into trap volume. Let me give you this: if you get a blow off and then all of a sudden they start giving a tr creeping trend, creeping trend, creeping trend this is easy man why because the move is still gonna continue okay okay but again i told you you are not sure up until they gave you evidence and we always trade evidence so this is the evidence we were looking for you see when they engulfed here this is where i took my entry and i told you one thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna put in my entry i'm gonna put in my stops and i immediately I'm gonna just uh, double click on, 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 on the entry, the entry line, because when you enter, it's gonna give you a line. I'm gonna double click on it and I'm gonna punch 5,000. On an index, I know that 5,000 is 50 pips, okay? And then I am just gonna close my charts. Why? Because there are days when you'll take a loss and you don't want, uh, if you are gonna take a loss, maybe the market has another plan because I say always use uh, proper risk management, but on this kind of trades, you can use any lot size because they are explosive. And the thesis is once you enter, they're not gonna come back for you. But as you saw uh, on, on, on S&P, on, on S &P, they did give this uh, evidence candle. However, they went back again. But this for me wasn't the best of setups uh, given what was happening, you see, you see what was happening this was just gapping and doing all sort of stuff this wasn't clean for me that's why i didn't take it but i just want to show you this here okay yes for people who entered here and maybe put their stops here they got closed okay so sometimes yes they will do this but honestly on this setups uh based on my experience they don't do that much okay they don't do that much mostly they just explode into the direction so this was the cleanest setup as you can see from uh, how it was setting up it was the cleaner setup and this is a creeping trend creeping trend creeping trend this is our evidence we spoke about this in the video and one thing i'm glad about is the fact that people are starting to see this and they are benefiting from this this happens almost every day it's not gonna happen every day but it happens almost every day so the reason i take my trade and close my charts for an hour is because if i'm gonna take a loss i don't want to actually uh still be looking at things and re uh, taking re-entries yes there are days when okay they will uh close me and if i'm still on the charts i will just wait uh, just to see what happens and if they give an evidence provided they don't come and take these guys out or they don't come and take these guys out once they do take these guys out and these guys out now they are making higher highs i don't want to be part of it okay i don't want to be part of it that's when i say okay my setup is actually uh is is invalid is invalid but if they just come back and then come back come back maybe close you with spread and then give evidence that's where i re-enter but i try to avoid this uh situations by actually taking a trade and getting off the screen okay then i'll come back uh I'll come back after an hour if my take profit is not hitting an hour now that's where i can close the trade because the thesis is these kind of trades are explosive they are explosive seven minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes you will get uh you'll get paid they will hit your take profit first so this is where i actually entered and i punched in my 50 bits got off the screen i don't care how many pips they went later because for me it's the process i'm gonna take this 50 pips almost every day okay even though there are days when i'll just get close i'm gonna take this 50 pips almost every day and uh that's what makes it interesting for me the process i don't care i take it 100 pips whereas i know that okay out of 10 trades maybe they'll go 100 pips maybe three trades two trades or even one trades out of 10. so that simply means that is not repeatable that is not rinse and repeat i know they're gonna go 50 pips most of the time so that is now rinse and repeat 
I want something where I can rinse and repeat. I want something where I can get in uh, today, tomorrow they're going to give the same thing, the following day the same thing, okay? So as I've already uh, explained to you, the most important thing for me is actually uh, is actually rinse and repeating, the repeatability. Once something uh, repeats over time, repeats over time, repeats over time, that's what I need because I know, yes, even if I take a loss today, because it's something that's repeating, it's most likely going to happen every day. And that's what will actually help you build your, your accounts, okay? Okay, so 50 pips is repeatable and it happens almost every time. So as you can see, it is the exact trade I took yesterday. I allowed them. They are trapping uh, above the, the closing price of the previous day. I allowed them, I allowed them, I allowed them, I allowed them. And then when they broke up with an engulf, that's when I just entered because now this is evidence, okay? And I told you, we don't want to be guessing if they give us a pin. Why? Because somebody will say, but if I entered here, I got I got a lot of pips. Yes. If you entered here, it simply means you entered here because the same thing that happened here is the same thing that happened here. They gave a pin, uh, a dodgy, and an engulf. The same thing happened here. They gave a dodgy and an engulf, okay? So look at what they gave you, a pin and stuff, okay? So you don't want to be entering after every pin, after every pin, okay? You want to be entering when there is evidence. You don't want to catch the high. You want evidence, okay? So this is evidence where if you look carefully, they've engulfed many candles. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Over 10, 11 candles, 12, 13. Over 13 candles I engulfed in just one minute candle, okay? So this is high probability. This is actually high, high probability. This is the evidence that, okay, prices are just collapsing. And the thesis is, again, this should explode, okay? This should explode. Why? Because already now, most people have bought and they are actually going up and they are literally trapped, okay? So everybody who went up here is literally trapped. That's why I say do not chase moves. Wait for them to trap first because there are people who maybe entered here, entered here. When they are trapping, they are going to take you out and mostly they are going to trap before collapsing. That is normal market behavior. They do this most often, okay? And if it's something they do over time, you will learn through experience what uh, what 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 it will cost you because you enter early. Say maybe you entered here, uh, you entered here before trapping volume. Then this one came and closed you, okay? But when you wait for uh, for them to trap volume, because most of the time they are gonna trap volume. I told you there are days when they will just collapse straight, but you find that out of ten, it's only one or two. So you want something that is repeatable, something that is rinse and repeat. Why? Because if you're going to be focusing on the ones that, okay, sometimes they fall straight and you realize that, okay, out of 10, they only fall straight one day. So this simply means now you are actually going to be trapped nine times or you're going to be hit nine times and you're only going to get that one where they just fall straight. Okay. So I, I came to realize that normal market behavior, most of the time they will break down and they will correct okay they will trap 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 okay so that's when i want to get in after they've trapped because this is normal market behavior if they fall straight most of the time i'm not gonna be in it and i won't even be bothered why because for me it's the process the process okay it's not about luck it's not about uh guessing it's the process the process is it repeatable if not then it's not worth it is it repeatable if yes it is worth it how often does it happen if it happens maybe nine out of ten times you know that okay you're gonna miss one okay and maybe out of that out of those nine times you know that okay maybe two times they might go against you now you know that okay there's one that's gonna go straight out of the nines that you're gonna take maybe you have room to lose two that simply means out of nine you have seven to win if your risk reward uh, ratio is good you're gonna get you're gonna actually be in big profits okay because this is repeatable 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 anyway i'm actually adding this into the playbook so those who have the playbook i will be sending you an updated version but just give me time to actually work on this and please be patient enough because now i'm adding this setup because it is highly explosive and this one will actually give you the results early as you see i told you when they go up i set my alice down okay this helps me 
because this candle triggered my first alert here that's where i entered but anyway i did explain this in my first video okay and guys uh have a beautiful day look out for this setup today it's friday and i believe it's gonna happen again because it's repeatable thank you guys